thank you for your two thousand um, dollars a month for CERB and EI, but we all know how expensive it is to live in Vancouver. So, like, uh, like, like Nim had just said, uh, workers, uh, we need our medical until the pandemic ends, and we need our jobs secured uh, for as long as the recovery takes. So, those are the two things we're working on, and we have. We're actively talking to politicians every day about these kinds of things. And we want, we're signing a, a petition right now. We have a thousand signatures already on a petition. Uh, Stephanie, our communications person is gonna put the, uh, the link in the, in the chat. Uh, I want everybody to go to the petition and make sure they've signed it. If they've already, if you've already signed it, make sure all your friends have signed it. This is the most important petition because we're gonna be bringing this to the politicians and making sure that they understand that if the companies go to them for money, that the workers need medical benefits and they need their jobs guaranteed. All right, Zelda, I'm gonna pass it back to you. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Nim Calvez. I am a hotel worker. I am a key leader and I, and I, am, I am an organizer. And two big issues that came out from this pandemic is our recall riots and our medic, uh, extension of our medical health fund. Um, a lot of us are not familiar with our recall rights. It never came out before because we never think that we would need a recall rights, but we're on unprecedented times and this is where we are. In GBHEA, we have 12 months of recall, recall rights. As Matt said, like, um, Every one of us has different timeline for recall rights. So I, I encourage all of you, all our members to check your recall rights um, and get familiar with it. Um, it's very disappointing that these big companies are not guaranteeing our job because we are the ones who make billions of profits over the, over the years. We've put 20, 30, 40 years of service on those workplaces and made this company billions of profits, as I said. And our job should be there no matter how, how slow is the recovery is. We all know that tourism and hotel industry is going to be the last, the last one to recover. It's going to be a long road to recovery for us. And we need a guarantee from our employers that our job, our seniority is going to be there when all of this is done. They, they need not, they, they can't forget that we are the ones who make them so much money. Vancouver is on the map for tourism industry because of the hotel industry. It's, it's a big business. We made them billions and they should do the right thing. They should protect the workers, they should give us our recall rights. And it's just, it's very disappointing that they cannot give it to us, so we need to fight for it. And the second one that we need, that the big issue is our medical health benefits. Right now, a lot of us will lose our benefits by this month or next month or in June. Um, it's good that some in some other places, some of, of the companies have guaranteed for medical benefits until June, but we're already in May. It's, it's not gonna, by the time that this pandemic will end, who know, maybe it will take a six months, three months, a year. And it's going to be very hard when we lose our benefits. I know personally, a lot of my coworkers needs their prescription and it's costing them a couple of thousands a month. And take a look at it. We're already, we're already in May. The doctors are not even open. We can't even, we don't even have access to our prescriptions. When we get prescriptions, it's only good for a month. And what if you can't, you can't get it this month or maybe next month? It doesn't make sense for us when we're the ones who's making this, this company's billions and, and the city rich and we can't even get our prescription. That's just, that's just wrong. It's, it's very wrong. We should be entitled to our medical benefits 
and we should be entitled to our recall rights. We are urging the, the government and all these big companies to do the right thing. Um, the government is bailing, they, they have so much um, assistance. They have bailouts, tax um, break, um, wage subsidy. The government is just giving them a lot of, 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 of um, um, assistance like left and right, but how about us workers? Thank you for your $2,000 um, a month for CERB and EI, but we all know how expensive it is to live in Vancouver. By the time you pay your rent, what is left out of your $2,000? So it's it's just, it's very disappointing that there's not many um, alternative and assistance for us workers, who's the one who's making this economy, who's the one making them billions of profits, who's the one who's literally, um, who's the one who's literally turning the world around and making this all these businesses and we can't even get our, our basic, our basic human rights for like medical benefits, it's our basic human rights. And I'm urging everyone to, 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 plea, to um, be together, be united. We've done this before. We are strong together and we can do it again and we'll fight this company. And June medical benefits is not enough. Two months is not enough. It's gonna be a long road to recovery and we're gonna be here together to fight together. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll return this to Matt. Okay, uh, so like, uh, like like Nim had just said, uh, workers, uh, we need our medical until the pandemic ends, and we need our jobs secured uh, for as long as the recovery takes. So those are the two things we're working on, and we have we're actively talking to politicians every day about these kinds of things. And we want, we're signing a, a petition right now. We have a thousand signatures already on a petition. Uh, Stephanie, our communications person is gonna put the, uh, the link in the, in the chat. Uh, I want everybody to go to the petition and make sure they've signed it. If they've already, if you've already signed it, make sure all your friends have signed it. This is the most important petition because we're gonna be bringing this to the politicians and making sure that they understand that if the companies go to them for money, that the workers need medical benefits and they need their jobs guaranteed. All right, Zelda, I'm gonna pass it back to you, thank you. Thank you, next will be Kevin who will be talking about some health and safety protocols that we're working on while some of the workplaces are still open. 